Welcome to K-Line Irrigation, where simplicity, reliability, and flexibility meet the needs of grass and pasture managers around the globe. Recognizing K-Line's unique design, operation, and functionality compared to other irrigation methods is essential for ensuring the effectiveness and success of K-Line in various scenarios. By implementing the following helpful tips and tricks when handling and relocating K-Lines, you'll streamline your process, minimize any potential confusion or frustration, and reduce labor demands. These insights ensure a smoother operation, empowering you to fully harness the unique advantages of the system. Let's begin by exploring the fundamental principles of K-Line irrigation. K-Line systems provide efficient, precise, and flexible irrigation and can be designed to fit any size or shape field and a variety of crops and situations. Every property and every irrigation situation is unique. Our expert designers will construct a design and layout specific to your property and purpose. Once set up, K-Lines are easily manipulated to the shape of the planned irrigated area and are uninhibited by steep terrain. All K-Line componentry is durable enough to work in pastures where obstructions exist such as rocks that may inhibit or damage other irrigation systems. Additionally, K-Lines require very little labor or expertise to assemble, maintain, repair, disassemble, or winterize. Occasionally, first-time users of K-Line irrigation may encounter challenges when moving and adjusting the lines, leading to unnecessary time spent and potentially detracting from the overall operating experience. However, by understanding and following the tips and tricks provided here, users can significantly enhance their experience with the product, ensuring smooth and efficient operation. Let's explore some general repositioning suggestions, nuances of different moves referred to as shifts, and the significance of the feed line, setting you up for success right from the start. Here are some key tips to kickstart your journey. First, always begin the shifting procedure by placing the towing vehicle on the dry side of the K-line next to the sets that have not been irrigated. This will prevent the creation of double loops in the feed line and reduce the chances that the tubing will become kinked. Second, when connecting the tow vehicle to the K-line, ensure that the vehicle starts by facing toward the zone midline and position the vehicle approximately 6 to 8 feet from the K-line. Maintain the 6 to 8 foot distance along the entire length of the pod line until the towing vehicle is between the first and second pod. This will prevent the pods from tipping on their side when the K-lines are in transit. Once the towing vehicle reaches the space between the first and second pods, you can steer the vehicle further away from the pod line and move laterally into the next set. Keep in mind that for specific set repositions, you may need to dismount the towing vehicle and manually adjust the feed line before shifting to the next set. Third. When moving towards the riser, you'll notice that the system's feed line is laid across the zone midline. It's not only acceptable but also expected for the tow vehicle and pod line to cross over the feed line. Rest assured, K-pipe, especially when filled with water pressure, is durable enough to withstand this stress. Fourth, shifting K-lines in hot weather without water running through the tubing increases the chances of the K-pipe becoming kinked. To avoid this, either shift the lines with water running through the system or in the early morning or evening when the tubing is cool. Fifth, if the operator finds the water stream from the sprinkler to be bothersome, a simple solution is to place a can or rag over the last sprinkler while towing the line. This temporary measure effectively mitigates any discomfort experienced by the operator. Once the line is set in its new location, the can or rag can be removed, ensuring uninterrupted irrigation. Sixth, mark the border of each set at its midline with large, bright-colored markers or flags to ensure you position the pod line squarely in the middle of each set. This also ensures that you do not drive past the endpoint, which would lead to incorrect positioning of the first pods and potentially strain riser connections. Correct pod line positioning is critical in ensuring sufficient irrigation coverage and avoiding the formation of dry spots in the field. Lastly, don't hesitate to utilize false casting when circumstances call for it. A false cast involves briefly moving the K-line into a previously irrigated set to facilitate better maneuvering into the desired set. This technique proves useful when repositioning a K-line to another section of the field. In scenarios where obstacles like tree lines disrupt the formation of perfectly rectangular sets or prevent an even number of sets per zone, for further guidance, explore the comprehensive manuals and additional tutorial videos available in the resources section of our website. There you'll find a wealth of tips, tricks, and maneuvers, complete with diagrams and detailed descriptions to help you maximize the efficiency of your K-Line irrigation system. If you require personalized assistance or wish to discuss a K-Line design tailored to your property specifications, don't hesitate to fill out a consultation form on our website.
our dedicated team is committed to providing ongoing support to ensure your success with K-Line irrigation products. With K-Line, your irrigation experience transforms into a seamless and enjoyable process, freeing you to pursue other endeavors and experiences. Thank you for exploring and considering K-Line Irrigation.